Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's resume our biochemistry playlist. In previous videos, we talked about Michaelis Menten plot. We talked about Lynn Weaver Burke plot. We went over competitive inhibitors in one video and non competitive inhibitors in another video. Today, we shall compare between the two competitive versus non competitive. Cody the capitalist versus Nancy the Karen. Let's get started. For this video to make sense to you, please watch the previous videos in order. We have four types of enzyme inhibitors, competitive, non-competitive, these are the most common two, mixed and uncompetitive. Today we're comparing between one and two. Enzymes are catalysts. Enzymes speed up the rate of the reaction, they lower the activation energy, making it easier for you to jump onto the hill, i.e. it lowers the barrier, making it easier for you to jump. Enzymes are not altered by the reaction, they are not changed, they are not consumed, they do not change the equilibrium position, they do not change the thermodynamics, they do not change the overall free energy of the reaction. Each enzyme has two doors, the front door, active site, and the back door, allosteric site. Front or active is catalytic, but the allosteric is non-catalytic. Active site is for initiators, for the substrate. Allosteric is for the regulators. Allosteric stimulation, allosteric inhibition, etc. Competitive inhibitors will bind here to the active site, but non-competitive inhibitors will bind here to the allosteric site. Competitive is Cody the capitalist, non-competitive is Nancy the Karen. Cody is gonna bind to the front door, Nancy will delve into the back door. The binding of Cody is reversible, you can overcome it by adding more substrate. That's why Vmax does not change. But with Nancy the Karen, its binding is irreversible, no one can get rid of Karen, and that's why Vmax will drop like a rock. Recall from Michaelis Menten that as the substrate concentration goes up, the rate of the reaction should go up as well. That's why you have a line going upwards. But it's not a straight line going up ad infinitum. This will level off. It has a ceiling known as a Vmax. Also recall that as the number of enzymes available goes up, Vmax should go up. As the number of enzymes available go down, Vmax should go down. When the affinity goes up, however, Km goes down. When the affinity decreases, Km goes up. I'm talking about the affinity between the substrate and the enzyme. Let's compare between competitive and non-competitive inhibitors. Competitive inhibitors will bind to the active site. Non-competitive inhibitors will bind to the allosteric site. Because competitive inhibitors are binding to the active site, they are competing with the substrate for the active site. But Nancy is not competing with the substrate for the same active site. That's why Nancy is non-competitive, but Cody was competitive. Nancy the Karen does not like competition. That's why she gave her children participation trophies. Competitive inhibitors. They occupy the active site of the enzyme. They prevent the substrate from the binding to the enzyme. Oh yeah, because they are competitive. The substrate will feel betrayed because the beloved enzyme is now binding someone else. So the affection between the two, the affinity, will drop like a rock and Km will rise. Can we overcome Cody? Yeah, Cody's binding is reversible. You can overcome Cody by adding more substrates. And since you can overcome the competitive inhibitors, there will be no change in the Vmax. Put differently, Cody the capitalist is competitive inhibitor. Km will climb and the affinity is crushed. Next, the non-competitive inhibitors, Nancy the Karen, binding to the allosteric site of the enzyme. The available copies of the enzyme can still bind the substrate. The substrate will love to bind to an enzyme. The affinity did not change and there is no change in the Km. No one can overcome Nancy the Karen. Its binding is either irreversible or reversible but you cannot overcome it. That's why Vmax will decrease. It's as if we've lost an enzyme. When the number of enzymes available decreases, Vmax will drop. The analogy to remember competitive antagonist. Think of it as having a shop selling 10 cars to 10 customers every single day. Then Cody the capitalist started another shop just next to it to take five of the customers away from shop A. What do you think happened to the attraction of customers to the old store? 
it decreased. Instead of 10, we have only 5 now. So the attraction went down, the affinity went down, and KM will go up. But Cody did not change the net sales per day. Cody did not change the number of cars sold every day. And the VMAX will not change. Cody the capitalist is competitive. KM will climb by crushing the affinity. Can you overcome it? Yes, indeed. Therefore, there is no change in the VMAX. Cody is reversible. Versus the non-competitive inhibitor, Nancy the Karen. Imagine that you were driving your Ford Model T piece of vintage down the road. You are the enzyme, your car is the substrate, and you're driving down the road. Your gravest sin was driving over the speed limit. So Nancy the Karen showed up out of nowhere and started yelling at you. Quote, I'm gonna call the police. This is ridiculous. This is reprehensible behavior. Close quote. What do you think is gonna happen to your speed after hearing this? You will lower your speed. Your VMAX will go down. However, you still love your Ford Model T. Your affection to your car did not change. And the affinity will remain constant. There is no change in KM with non-competitive inhibitors. Let's put everything here on Michaelis Menten. Competitive inhibitors. What's going to happen to affinity? Decreased. KM went up. When KM goes up, it's as if the substrate is going up and you shift me to the right. Competitive inhibitors will not change the VMAX. Next, non-competitive inhibitors. They will decrease the numbers of enzymes available because we lost an enzyme and VMAX will drop. Next is the Linweaver Burke. Where is my competitive inhibitors? They decrease affinity, KM goes up, so I shift to the right, but VMAX will not change, so I should draw a graph that looks like this. This is my competitive inhibitor. Nice. How about the non-competitive inhibitor? Well, KM will not change, so I'll start from the same point, but VMAX will go down, which means 1 over VMAX will go up, so I will do it just like that. This is my non-competitive inhibitor. Notice that the competitive inhibitor and the control line intersect in the y-axis, but the non-competitive inhibitor and the control intersect on the x-axis. So on this graph, can you draw a competitive and non-competitive inhibitor? Let's try to do this. Competitive inhibitor, okay, look at this KM going up, but the Vmax is not changing. Just like that. My KM went up, but the VMAX on the y-axis did not change. How about a non-competitive? Well, I want the VMAX to decrease, so I have to go here, but I do not want the KM to be altered. All right, do not alter the KM, which means on the same line. Beautimus, this is my non-competitive inhibitor. Can you do both here in the Linweaver Burke? Sure, let's try by the competitive. I know that both of them should intersect at the y-axis. KM should go up, all right, VMAX should not change, I'm not changing the y-axis, and this is my competitive inhibitor. How about the non-competitive? They will intersect at the x-axis, VMAX should go down, 1 over VMAX should go up, and it should look like this. So let's review. Competitive inhibitor will bind to the active site reversibly. The non-competitive inhibitor usually binds to the allosteric site and you cannot overcome it. Sometimes the non-competitive, by the way, binds to the active site irreversibly. You still cannot overcome it. With competitive inhibitors, the affinity decreased. Competitive crushes the affinity and KM will climb. But VMAX did not change. With non-competitive inhibitors, Affinity did not change, therefore KM will remain constant, but VMAX will decrease because the number of enzymes available decreased. Quiz time! Now we have four graphs, A, B, X, and Y. Which one is the competitive and which one is the non-competitive? Let me know the answer in the comment section. I have an antibiotics course on my website, a surgery high yields course, a toxicology course, general pharmacology course, endocrine pharmacology course, and many premium courses on my website. No subscription needed. You download them once and you keep them for you forever. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.